Good morning everybody and welcome to Visit Fowl Coast. I'm filming this on a little bit of a cool Monday morning. It's Monday the 24th of May and you wouldn't know it to feel at the <laughs> feel at the temperature. <laughs> There's quite a cool breeze and we're at North Shore. We're at North Shore Blackpool and we're going to go and take a walk and see what's happening and see what's new because everything's starting to open and come back to life and the scaffolding's starting to disappear and the skips are starting to be removed and various different things have been happening <clears throat> so you might have seen last week we went for a look along north pier and we went to the new bloom bar right at the end of the pier which is very nice if you've not already seen it i would highly recommend that you go and take a look so this little spot is what's also known as Cocker Square. And I do believe that is Cocker Street. Yes, it is. Um, hotel at the back of it, nothing remarkable about it at all, you might think. But that little spot of Blackpool is one that goes back quite some way into the town's, into the town's history. And it's actually named after Dr Cocker, who you might recognise as being one of the, the the names that everybody knows as being one of the founding fathers of Blackpool as we know it. So we often, we often dip into the astonishing work of Mr Nick Moore, who has written a, a, a fascinating tome called The History of Blackpool and the Foul Coast. And you can find the link to that in the description underneath this video. And that, that, um, that piece of work tells us all about Dr Cocker and his associates and the people that gave us this amazing seaside resort. So, the water's gently lapping. It's not been gently lapping this weekend, I can tell you. It's been really, really windy and raining and cold and there's been some sunny spots but goodness me you can tell well it's usually rotten in may we were saying this the other day so we're going to go and take a little scoot via the, the the crazy golf which unless you know it's there you wouldn't be able to tell would you because we're actually walking right up to the crazy golf as i speak and this is being revived with thanks to two charities who are using it to um, give give people that that need a second chance a better a better prospect on life so it's blackpool fulfilling lives and the street angels project oh look there's an information board here i don't know whether that's new but i can't remember seeing that we'll have a look at some of the old pictures shall we so, oh, they're here, look, they're, they're volunteering. I think we might, uh, we might go and have a, a nosy and see, oh, what, wow, that looks better. Goodness, last time we came round here, which would have been last summer, that looked really derelict. The History of Princess Parade and the Sunken Gardens, oh, that's interesting. I'm not going to stand and read it all out for you, but it takes you from 1776 all the way down to now. The opening of the course had to be postponed because of COVID-19, but volunteers battled on so that the course would be ready to open in 2021. And there's all old pictures of the area here, which might not be very clear to you on video, but you might have seen some of these actually on Facebook. So that's the Metropole. Um, and that's the, look at that, wow. Just imagine, that must have been awful. I bet that collapsed easily. And that's what you might remember from your youth and your childhood. Huh. Fascinating. But yeah, I can see a big difference. I can see, I can really see what they've been doing. That looks such a lot better. I'll, I'll continue this morning's video. And if they're up for, if they're up for a chat, when we've looked round the back of here, we might, we might be able to show you something else. So, this is another little bit of scaffolding city. This little bit of Blackpool seafront gets such a battering. It's right at the side of the, the main highway, so it gets all the traffic 
dirt and one thing and another. And it's also as well right in a wind tunnel because this, this Metropole Hotel creates a terrible wind tunnel for the, because it, it, it kind of blows southwesterly. So it comes that way and it comes through here like you won't believe, it's awful. So these poor buildings here always end up looking mucky. But if you've been watching Bargain Loving Breaks, which I must admit, I do enjoy watching Bargain Loving Breaks, you might have seen a guy called Jason in Blackpool opening this new bar. And it was on the one that we watched, because we, we set them to record and then we watch them on wet Sunday afternoons when it's windy, windy and cold. So Jason has taken on the job of renovating this club, which was, well, I mean, you can tell by the look of the upstairs. He had top weight on, the showed inside. Here's the siren. There's always a siren. So they showed him on um, Bargain Love in Braves, renovating it and making it into a, a new a new bar. So that's only recently reopened. I think it's probably opened since um, lockdown. Since lockdown finished last week. So there's various other establishments down here. Here's another builder. <laughs> Here's another builder. There's, there's builders working everywhere in Blackpool. There's such a lot of work being done well. Well, we've all been closed. If you come back this summer, you're going to see a really big difference. <laughs> but it's an ideal time to do it because there's not been any customers. So this is the other side of the Metropole. And obviously now we've got, we've got people back in the town having holidays. So the, the, there's holiday makers and suitcases and coaches and ooh, all kinds of things. It's just like getting back to normal, it's lovely. And this is the Cenotaph. There is another video on our Blackpool playlist about the Cenotaph. It's quite an interesting, quite an interesting piece in its own right that. We spent a lot of 2020 during lockdown walking around various places and looking into, digging and delving into history and finding, finding things out that we didn't know and ferreting in corners. And there's another interesting one there as well that we've also covered. Can you see there's a little concrete bollard thing there? Just at the right hand side of the bin. That's a, a blue plaque to HMS Fodroyant, if you can say it. And this looks like it might be an illumination coming back up shortly. They've got the barriers around the poles. This is where they usually put the tribute to the fallen on this corner. And then back round to the other side of where we came from. I'll show you over the edge. They've done a lot of work on North Pier. I got quite a surprise actually when I did when I did a walk around last Monday morning. Oh, that's a drop. I've seen worse drops, but that's a drop. I don't like drops. <coughs> so I got quite a shock. The, in, the inside of it looks such a lot different. It looks quite amazing, really. So that's... That's what's happening at, um, around the Cocker Square and sort of not quite Talbot Square. That's Talbot Square over there in front of the Clifton Hotel. They look like they're doing something as well, don't they? Oh, I wonder if they're putting the catenary up for the trams. I know they're putting the, the, the electricity supply for the trams comes from these poles and the overhead lines that you can see. And I knew they were doing it soon. So I wonder if they're starting to think about that. Mm, interesting. 
more scaffolding. I need some more scaffolding. I need some more scaffolding on the Metropole Hotel. We'll take a walk around the back of here and then we'll uh, we'll go and see if the we'll see if the crazy golf people are up for up for a bit of an interview. I'll join you in a minute. So I've just been talking to this nice young chap here in the purple vest um, and I said, Colin will be around and look who turned up. It's Colin. <laughs> it's Colin. We keep bumping into one another on a Monday morning. We keep, uh, we keep meeting. We'll have to stop meeting like this, Colin. People are going to start talking. They'll start talking. So this young guy here with the, with the vest on, he's, he's in charge today and he's just been telling me that they are actually hoping to open this week. So on Friday, Friday at the end of this week, they are expecting to be open. Um, and they've done an amazing job. It looks so much better. They've got the felt to lay in the um, holes where you, where you, where you knock your, your ball. Um, but just look at that for a masterpiece. It looks lovely. They're all scurrying away, litter picking and cleaning and tidying up. Um, we've got a little bit of rain to contend with, I think, this week until they're actually ready for it to open, but that is going to just look amazing. So come on down this weekend, Bank Holiday, May Bank Holiday weekend, and you can have a, you can have a game of uh, crazy golf on Blackpool Seafront and support a worthwhile organisation at the same time as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this little look round Cocker Square, Cliff, um, Talbot Square and kind of back of the Metropole, a bit more scaffolding for your look. Goodness me, that looks like it needs some scaffolding. Um, don't forget, make sure that you've subscribed to Visit File Coast. Make sure that you've hit that little bell for notifications and don't forget to give this video a like. We'll see you soon. Bye for now.